Um, my name is Kathleen Quinlivan and um, I work at the University of Canterbury and um, Vanessa and Marcus are my friends. And I wanted to get up and support um, this community and what it's doing in relation to the job that it does for young people. To me, it beggars belief that this school isn't used as a model for the kinds of education that should be happening all over this country. So it's of intense um, frustration and irritation to me that this school should ever be put in this position because as um, my colleague Jay Major said, what this school is modelling is the future. It's modelling a way of working with children that recognises every single thing that the Ministry of Education says that education is all about. Because what this school's got the handle on from my perspective, and I've definitely seen this through watching Giovanna come here and change as a person and feel much more confident and courageous about who she is, is that this school understands that if you value who a person is, then you will enable them to learn. And it's so important. Mm. So I want to just support you in the kind of work you're doing. I, this is the kind of school that I would like to come to and do research in because it seems like it's doing such extraordinary work. It should be seen as a beacon school in Christchurch. The ministry should be saying, come to Aurangi if you really want to know what society is going to become. Come to Aurangi if you really want to see how to value a person and watch them flower and grow and learn. And I'm talking about a wide range of different kinds of people. We've talked, you know, you've heard, I've heard from Pākehā parents, Māori parents, Pacific parents, a wide range of different kinds of people. So I would say to the Ministry of Education, um, why don't you be using this school as a beacon school that everybody can benefit from rather than thinking about closing it down? And one of the other reasons I came today was because two people who came from this school um, came to talk to us at work. And I think the principal said, and uh, she said, the question that really needs to be asked um, from you, you know, Kathleen, and she was talking to us as teacher educators, is what are you in education for? And the next day I went to um, the first lecture of a course on inclusive education, and that's exactly how I began the lecture, I said. I said, the big question we all have to consider here today is what are we in education for? And in my, um, from my perspective, Aurangi's got the handle on that, and it should be used as a national model, not as some school that's closed down because of a stupid um, thing about numbers. Okay. been up today but I just wanted to carry on from what was just said. Um, speaking as a student teacher, this is my first year at Teachers College and I just want to say as a student teacher I'm really really confused on what the ministry wants. They're teaching us at college that the three new important things of the curriculum are a multiculturalism and like in, in, inclusive diversity, b community and the, the Māori language as well, and I, I don't get that. There's a school doing all of these things, and the, can I, I just, you know, I just don't get that. That's what they're they're teaching us, and then they turn around and and uh, suggesting closing the school that's already doing it. I'm just sorry. I just, that, <laughs> I'm Judy Bruce, also a lecturer at the Tech. Shares College at the College of Education. I just wanted to um, touch up on what Kathleen said and the student teacher here. I'm really confused myself. Um, I guess with the release of the new curriculum in 2007 that's currently being rolled out into new schools, one of the big premises behind that, the ideas behind that, is that we are moving into a, a new way of existing as a society and um, it's one based on ideas of globalisation um, so the new curriculum has concepts in it like the concept of diversity that we've heard a lot about today um, and it also has in it other concepts. One of them is about community and parental partnership and as a teacher and as a teacher educator and as a um, working in alternative education I know that it's this is a really hard thing to do well and our rangi does this well so I want to I really want to talk, talk about what Kathleen said this ought to be a model of best practice because this is a school that lives something that is incredibly difficult to do um, and I think small or smaller is one of the key uh, 
ideas around seeing that happen. It's sort of a really important part of the process. Um, and the other, the third thing is um, around pedagogy. So this is the first curriculum we've seen that talks about pedagogy. And we know that the school also carries out teaching practices, pedagogical practices that are, are mandated within the new curriculum while other schools struggle to do it. So I guess what I would say to the minister is it's incredibly difficult to try and work two things. On the one hand, you want to have a market-driven concept of schooling, but that concept clashes with the idea of inclusive education and inclusive pedagogy. You can't walk the two together. And um, yeah, I just, I just hope that the minister hears what's been said today because it's just an, an incredible. Um, and I'm just totally astounded. And like the student teacher, as a teacher educator, I am confused myself because this idea of closing a school clashes with the concepts that are in the new curriculum. So, thank you.